The hollow moon theory is a theory that proposes the moon is hollow, suggesting that it may be an artificially created celestial body. The theory questions the possibility of a naturally formed celestial body being hollow, given the density of naturally formed bodies in astronomy. In the 1960s, several scientists put forth this theory based on the Moon's significantly lower density compared to Earth. Dr. Harold Urey, a Nobel laureate in chemistry, suggested that the low density of the Moon's interior structure is mainly due to it being hollow. Some other discoveries have fueled speculation that the Moon is artificial, such as its size. The Moon's size is disproportionately large compared to Earth. Most of Saturn's or Jupiter's satellites have radii less than 5% of the planets, but the Moon's radius is 27% of Earth's radius. The disparity would be even greater if comparing volumes. Additionally, the distance from the Sun to Earth is 400 times the distance from the Moon to Earth, while the Sun's diameter is 400 times the Moon's diameter. Due to the geometric projection, the Moon appears approximately the same size as the Sun when viewed from Earth. This numerical proportion seems unbelievably coincidental. Furthermore, the Moon always presents one face to Earth, while the other side remains perpetually hidden. The far side of the Moon appears to be concealing something from our view. Another speculation is that when the Apollo spacecraft abandoned the lunar module on the Moon, it caused a 15-minute long vibration, suggesting that the Moon is a hollow sphere to sustain such prolonged tremors. Scientists believe that the Moon has a significant impact on Earth. Firstly, the Moon's gravity affects Earth's tides, which is crucial for marine life and people living in coastal areas. Additionally, the Moon helps stabilize Earth's axial tilt, resulting in relatively stable climates and seasonal variations. If the Moon didn't exist, Earth's axial tilt would be unstable, leading to extreme climate changes and environmental disasters. Moreover, the Moon slows down Earth's rotational speed, contributing to the lengthening of Earth's rotation period. This has a significant impact on the evolution of life on Earth. For example, the human circadian rhythm is approximately 24 hours, matching Earth's rotation time due to the Moon's presence. Without the Moon, Earth's rotation would take approximately 8 hours for one complete rotation. Such rapid rotation would generate strong atmospheric currents, causing winds to only blow east-west. The presence of strong atmospheric currents would hinder the growth of trees, resulting in significantly shorter heights than they are today. These factors make Earth unsuitable for various forms of life. In summary, if the Moon didn't exist, Earth would face extreme climate changes and environmental disasters, greatly impacting life on Earth. In other words, the Moon's existence is more conducive to human and other biological life on Earth. All these phenomena and reasoning inevitably raise the question, if the Moon's existence is not natural, does it serve the purpose of transforming Earth into a large and ideal biological laboratory, where humans and other creatures can thrive? Before our human technology polluted the Earth, it might have been a paradise created by a highly intelligent civilization. The origin of humanity becomes easier to explain, but the remaining question is why humans were placed on Earth. Are we merely pets kept in a large cage, or is it to observe the perfection of a divine creation? Because our generation of humans is already the seventh generation to exist. The past ice ages and legends of great floods may have been attempts to clean up failed experiments. Could it be that the so-called gods are watching over us? On February 15, 2013, a meteorite impact event occurred in Russia. A meteorite with an explosive power equivalent to 30 Hiroshima atomic bombs entered Earth's atmosphere and exploded over the Chelyabinsk Oblast, causing massive energy release and a powerful shockwave. Hundreds of people were injured, and significant damage was inflicted upon local buildings. However, later photographs published in local newspapers and descriptions from witnesses or journalists revealed a fortunate event. Before the meteorite impacted the ground, a UFO swiftly flew through and pierced the meteorite, causing it to explode in the air, thus preventing a catastrophic impact on the ground. The nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan on March 11, 2011, garnered international attention. The incident was triggered by an offshore earthquake and the subsequent tsunami in the northeastern region of Japan. The accident was classified as a level 7 event, the most severe rating on the scale of nuclear incidents. A 2015 investigation revealed that all nuclear fuel had melted. 
This accident can be considered as one of the secondary disasters resulting from the Great East Japan earthquake, and it has had far-reaching implications for the global nuclear energy industry. However, something remarkable happened shortly after the accident. Many witnesses reported frequent sightings of unidentified lights or objects moving in the sky above the nuclear power plant. To date, various news reports indicate that there hasn't been a significant radiation contamination incident, which contrasts with the Chernobyl disaster in 1986, also classified as a level 7 nuclear event, but with a significantly different impact in terms of nuclear contamination. Is this special favor toward humanity? Or are humans merely reckless children, with adults stepping in to clean up the mess and prevent disasters from affecting them? What do you think?